First, we need to stop the Papercut application server service. So we'll run services as administrator and scroll down to the Papercut application server service. Now after stopping this we will need to use services again so we can keep it open but minimised. And now we can export the data to make a copy of the database so we'll run the command prompt as administrator and start by changing to the server binaries directory by typing in cd for change directory and then C program files papercut mf server bin win. So that changes the directory and now we can run the command db minus tools space and then export db. So this makes a copy of that internal database and it shows the location of that zip file which we can copy and paste into Notepad because we will need to refer to that later. So we'll just open Notepad to paste that into. But we do need to use inverted commas at the beginning and the end of this. So we'll just keep that open but minimised so we can access that later. The next step is to import the data we saved into the new database. And we do this using the command prompt and run as administrator. I'll just run through this again in case this has been closed. So we first change the directory using cd and then c program files papercut mf server bin win. So now having changed the directory we can use the command to initialize the database which is db minus tools space init minus db then a space then minus f and this initializes the database by creating the tables and it'll tell you if it's been successful because it'll say successfully initialized database so now we can import the data by typing in the command db minus tools then a space, import minus db, then a space, minus f, and then another space, and then we'll copy that file location that we saved in Notepad earlier. So we'll just copy this, complete with those inverted commas, and so now when we press return, it'll import the data. And on a fresh install like this there won't be much data so it should be really very quick. At the end it says successfully imported data. So now all we need to do is start the Papercut application server service. So if we go back into services and start that Papercut application server service. So after a couple of minutes you can try logging back into Papercut. Okay so the last few things you need to do if you go to your Papercut directory as it is here on the new server go into providers, direct print monitor, win, then Open this file here, you may need to do it in uh, an administrator. But for my test, I'm just going to show you this. 
So open your notepad. So down here, our application server. So that's either going to be the server's name or IP address for the, the new server. So you just need to update the information. Um, and then, as you did before, if you then deploy your direct fit monitor, as you as you've done on your original installation, uh, and then that will push out the new IP address uh, to the workstations that do the direct printing that you had before. Um, and that is probably about all you need. Um, if you want to double check anything else, if you've got your client and everything else in that system as well, which is in here, it's got a similar file. So down the bottom here, there's another config file. Just on there. And if you look, again, that's got a reference to the server here. So just need to make sure they're correct for your location. And I think that is about it. Other settings in here are really relevant to what we're talking about now. So I think that should be everything. Okay.